Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I have not been here in quite some time. Got uh, busy with VBS last week. I don't know what else happened. I don't know. Anyway, I'm back. I was going to do something last night, but I, don't, I just didn't feel like it. So I am back tonight, and we are going to talk about all glory to our King, which is Jesus, our King Jesus. All glory and honor and praise to Him forever and ever. So I uh, shared a song earlier, and I didn't pull it up. I'm kind of out of practice. I'm sorry. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. I'm out of practice. I looked at one of my videos earlier and I go, why are they putting that video on my page? Because it looks horrible. It's, I guess it's me. All right, here we are. The name of this song is uh, Glory by Go Fish, and so I'll read that in a minute. But first of all, let's jump into some prayer, okay? God, we just come to you and we just thank you. We thank you, God, because you are so powerful and you are on your throne and you are in control and all the things that we see going on around us that we don't understand. We don't have to, God, because you have a purpose and plan for everything. God, thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. Thank you for being our shelter in the storm. Thank you for being our strength and our refuge. God, We, you are powerful and mighty and magnificent, God. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. You're loving and kind and caring and faithful God you are trustworthy God you are forgiving God you um, are patient God you want none none to perish thank you for loving us thank you for calling us as your children God we love you with our whole heart our soul our mind and our strength God we just pray for the lost we just cry out for the lost we pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray that you would uh, draw them back to you, that they would return and repent, and that you could reconcile their relationship, God. We pray for all the many disasters that are going on, God. We just pray that you would be with these people, that you would meet them where, um, meet their needs where they are, God, that you would send people to be the hands and feet of Jesus, the loving compa compassion of Jesus. And God, we pray for all these countries that are rising up in opposition to their governments, God. We just pray that you would protect them, that they would be successful in their in their overturn of their government, especially if they are not giving them any freedom, God, and if they are oppressing them. God, we just pray for all the people that are sick right now. We just pray for healing from you, God, just your healing hand. You are the great physician. God, I just pray that you would be with them and their families. God, give them strength every day to get more and more well. God, we just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength. That they would feel your presence, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my, my pray and share warriors. It is good to be back. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm out of my multivitamin. I really think that I need that multivitamin to make me feel better. 
Okay, so this is what I shared today, this song. It's called Glory. I love this song and message by the Go Fish guys. These lyrics are so awesome. Yes, I'm still waking up singing VBS music. It is hard for me to get songs out of my head. It really is. We didn't do this at VBS, but we have done it before for VBS, and it just happened to be on YouTube, so I was listening to it the other day. It popped into my head this morning. Going to give all the glory. Give the glory to our King. Um, these songs are great, though, to go around singing. Going to raise this roof when we start to sing all the way to heaven. Our praises will ring. Going to give all the glory. Give the glory to our King. Today we can give all the glory to our King Jesus. He is the only one that deserves all of our glory, honor, and praise. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So I didn't write a whole lot about this song, but... How I feel about this song is that Jesus deserves our glory for all the things that he has done for us. For the fact that he came here and he walked on this earth and he set an example for his apostles, for his apostles to teach us how to be, to teach us to be his hands and feet since he's not here. He also has gone to prepare a place for us. He died for us. He has done so much for us that he does deserve all of our glory. We can walk hand in hand with him every day. He wants the very best for us. He loves us so much. He does deserve all of our glory. So let's look up some scriptures. So the scripture that went with this song, if you if you watch this song at the beginning of this song, is in 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 1, 17. First Timothy oh, 1, 17. Okay, I'm gonna sing. I'm not. I'm not gonna sing. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna read 15. I have it underlined for some reason. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all accept acceptation. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. This is Paul that wrote this. How be it for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory for ever and ever. Amen. So we're going to give all of our glory to Jesus for what he did for us. He came into this world to save all of us. Not just to save Christians, but to save everyone. Everyone has the opportunity to accept eternal life through Jesus. Everyone. God wants none to perish. That's John 3.16. God wants none to perish. So let's read 2 Peter 3.18. Not really doing these in any type of order. Kind of the order that I wrote them down. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. It reminds me of another song. Glory, 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 both now and forever. Both now and forever. 
but that's where they got these words for that other song. Not the song that I shared, but another one. Another kid's song that I listen to. I listen to a lot of these because of Seth. We start our day with these VBS type kid songs. So, but growing grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Amen. So now let's go to Romans 11.36. And I mostly chose um, New Testament tonight. Romans 11.36 says, For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. There's another song that popped into my head with those lyrics. For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. So they're talking about Jesus. That Jesus, all things are done for Jesus. All things are done through Jesus. All things are done... All things are done to him to whom be glory forever amen amen glory 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 okay so let's go to hebrews 1 3 Hebrews 1 3 says this Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. Hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints. Okay, well, that doesn't say anything about glory. Oh, I am reading the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Who being the brightness of his glory in the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. So again, talking about that relationship with God and Jesus. That God made the angels to glorify Jesus too. And to glorify him. But the glory belongs to God. The glory belongs to Jesus. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So as after he had purged our sins by his death and by his burial and by his resurrection, he went to the right hand side of God. And he is preparing a place for us now. So Hebrews 13, 21. Let's see what it says. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.
glory forever and ever. Let's go to Psalms 72, 19. It's a little warm in here in my little office. Psalm 72, 19. I have a fan back here. I have one in front of me. 72, 19. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. That is so beautiful. All glory to our King. All glory. Now let's skip over to Revelation. Which is all the way to the back. To 2111. I'm going to start at 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem. That picture is right behind me. Right over there, I'm pointing to it on both of my screens. And so that is what he's talking about, is something that he saw similar to that picture. That picture is as beautiful as, as it is, and as much as I love it, I think the real thing is going to be a whole lot more tremendous. Having the glory of God in her light was likened to a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. <clears throat> And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Now what was I supposed to read? 11. Having the glory of God in her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. So then they're going to measure this New Jerusalem. And we're going to leave off right there. I have read I have read Revelation 21 to you very many times because Revelation to me is the culmination. It is the ending to the story of God's word. But God's word continues. But it, it is the end of the grace dispensation. I think I said that right. But the beginning of the reign of King Jesus with the bride. Okay. Well, we did the scriptures. Let's see. How do we want to share the gospel tonight? Let's just do it through this. This is God's invitation into his heaven. Okay, so let's read this.
God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. So here are some scriptures that go with salvation. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 23. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. So again, I'm going to read Revelation 21, 2 through 3. And John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is a prayer of salvation. And if you would like to pray to receive Jesus as your Savior tonight, whenever you watch this, I don't know when you're, you're watching this, then just repeat after me. I will give some space for that. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you are God's one and only Son that came to teach, heal, love, and forgive. You died on the cross for all sinners. You rose from the tomb on the third day. You ascended into heaven, and you will come back to usher your church into heaven. I confess you as my Savior, inviting you into my heart to live and reign forever. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Please give me the strength to withstand the temptations in my life. Help me to praise and glorify you daily and help me grow in my relationship with you daily through Bible study and prayer. In your precious name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is now being written in the Lamb's Book of Life and the angels are rejoicing. There is rejoicing in heaven when one comes to Jesus. It is awesome. So if you would like to grow closer to God, then read his word every day and pray and praise his name. Glorify Jesus every day. Give him all your glory now and forever. 
All right, well, it is time for me to give you a blessing from God. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We all need some peace. We all need peace. Oh, something fell. Tomorrow I'm going to clean my desk off. It is such a mess. It has got to be cleaned tomorrow. All right, well, I am going to say a prayer, and I'm going to get off of here. God, we just thank you. We thank you for this time that we can read your word, Lord, that we can learn more learn more about your word and we can um, study your word God help us to glorify Jesus in everything that we do help us to show people the glory of Jesus God we just want to walk after Jesus we just want to show people the love and compassion of Jesus. And we want to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Help us to be that. God, I pray that anyone that comes here, God, that you would protect them, that you would provide them, provide for them, that you would bless them, God. Them and their families abundantly, God. I just pray that if anyone that comes here does not know Jesus as their Savior, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, I know, I know that Jesus is going to come soon. Only you know the date and the time, God. We trust you with all that we have. We trust you. We know that your timing is perfect and your ways are higher than ours. Your plan and purpose is God are perfect also just help us to trust you to keep walking on the straight and narrow path not to veer off to the ways of the world just keep us on this straight and narrow path with Jesus and in Jesus name I pray amen all right we'll pray and share warriors I should be here tomorrow night I'll try to get back on this thing. I know I've got to work on my new assignment tomorrow. I've got to start learning what I need to do for this presentation. So please pray for me. Pray. It is hard to learn things when you're older. It is harder. So pray that I will be able to commit all these things to memory. I do know bits and pieces. But I don't know it all together, and I would really like to, by the end of the week, know it enough to be able to do it. So I pray for, um, I'm praying for some sick people too. Help me to pray for my sick friends, uh, for healing, to protect us from this new variant that is going around. And I do know people that have it. So um, I have started like eating more yogurt today and getting back into doing the immune boost thing again, even though it tastes nasty. Okay, well, God bless you all and your families abundantly. Much love. Cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.